Good morning, students. I am Priya Shamili, your moral teacher. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and staying safe at home. Okay, good. Now take a glance at your moral book. This is your moral book. Living in harmony, a course on values, education, and life skills. Some beautiful pictures are given here. Now I am going to open the book. Here we have our first unit as happy as I am happy as I am before starting the lesson you have a moral story related to this lesson A short story Who is happy? This story teaches us to not to let go of our happiness by comparing ourselves by someone else. Once a crow looked at a swan and thought how beautiful the swan is. She had all white feathers, whereas the crow was black. The crow expressed his thoughts to the swan. The swan replied that according to her, the parrot is the most beautiful bird as it has two colors and the swan had just one. Next, the crow approached the parrot who simply said that peacock is the most beautiful than him as it is multicolored. When the crow expressed his thoughts to the peacock, the peacock replied, My dear crow, you are the luckiest bird on this planet. You are never caged. Because of my beauty, I am trapped in this cage and you are free. On hearing this, the crow thought how foolish he had been and thanked God for making him the way he was. Moral Never compare yourself to others. Be happy in what you are and what you have. Did you all hear the story? How is the story? Children, you all also must be happy with whatever you have with you. Before starting the lesson, you have a moral story related to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn a new concept, contentment and discontentment. Contentment and discontentment. It was a holiday time. Swarup was enjoying in a swing. Also, he was admiring the sunshine, flaws swaying here and there also thinking about his mother preparing his favorite dish how happy I am he thought in mind Swarup was contented with whatever he had with him 
he felt very happy and enjoyed his life a lot and also there lived a girl named maya she had more toys to play and also she she won't use the toys properly she will always put it here and there and broke it on that day she threw the doll against the wall and started crying that she wants new doll always she used to cry like this she will shout for a new doll although she had a box full of toys she cries for new toy she will throw away her old toys and ask the parents to buy new one for her and she screams the whole day to get that new toy children here maya was discontented she was unhappy so she get anger every time she wants a new toy that makes her dissatisfied children do you understand now contented and discontented in the story swarup is happy with whatever he had with him and he enjoyed his life happily but maya is unhappy she always get anger so she is in fond of getting new things all the time here swarup is contented and maya is discontented children in your book you have a story the big small house the big small house there is a small house with only one room but there lived eight members that is a person named vain person named vain with his wife and six children there were eight members but the room is too small the house having only one small room so always there will be a shout like that there is no space there is no space to play the children shouted and the wife says there is no space to take rest i am always tired and also sometimes vain will be upset by looking there is no space one day vain decided to meet his friend his friend is very wise wise clever so he wanted to meet his wise friend and ask a solution for this situation so the next day he went to meet his friend he met his friend and he told about all his situation that he lives in a one room house they will eat play sleep study and also work there there is no separate place for them to play or to sleep or to study everything they do in the same area the room in the one room they will do all these things by hearing all this pity situation the wise friend asked vain that do you have any animals vain replied as yes, he has one cow calf a donkey and some chickens the friend asked where they are he said they live outside they have a separate shed by thinking a little time the friend told him to take the animals inside the room let the animals live together with the you all when god shocked and surprised why this friend told like this by thinking he decided to take the animals inside the house because he know that his friend have some idea 
so he gave this idea to him he took all the animals inside his one room house his one room house became even more crowded and full of noise and also the room is smelling stinky by hearing this the friend replied that take the chickens out and keep them again in the shed when went home and did what he was told and also he came to meet his friend the next day he told his friend that the chickens are gone but the hay hay means animal food the cow and cough eat hay the animals are stamping and champing the hay into everyone's hair and eyes see the cow will walk here and there so it to stamp and champ the hay to everyone's hair and eyes so by hearing this again the friend replied him to take the cow and calf outside the shed when rushed back to do this and he went home to take the calf and cow outside and put it in the shed the next day again he met his friend to complain that the donkeys chewed up the children's books see you all know that donkey will eat paper isn't it donkeys eat paper so likewise donkeys has chewed all his children's book so again the friend laughed and replied to take the donkeys out so now wayne's room is out of animals he kept all the animals back in the shed few days later wayne met his friend in the market friend asked him how are you wayne how is the family wayne was very happy and he replied we are all very happy the animals are back in their shed now the house is big for us to be comfortable he replied that now the animals are in shed and we are all having enormous amount of space to live inside our house now the small house became big house that is the big small house how is the story very nice isn't Students, it what do you all get from the story yes we have to be happy with whatever we have with us okay so keep it in mind throughout your life see contented and discontented you all know the difference between that contented means have to be happy and satisfied with whatever you have with you discontented means you are all unhappy and you are dissatisfied with whatever you are having with you so don't be discontented always be contented and good so that will only make you happy whatever good things you can do you can do you do to your parents you do to your friends you do it to your neighbors everywhere have to do good things okay be good children that's all today's class hope you all enjoyed the class okay we can meet in the next class children Happiness is something if you give it away you give it away you give it away happiness is something if you give it away then it comes right back to you oh it's just like a magic penny hold on tight and you won't get any lend it spend it give it away then it comes right back
so be happy always spend time with your parents help others